Check out our new iPhone application to keep track of your orchids. Link in the description box. Hi there! In this video I'd like to show you a couple of pals that are in bloom at the moment. I've tried to arrange a little display so that you can see them all at once. Their spikes are waving in the wind a little bit from the fan that I've put there just for the video. I think it's so nice to observe the different types of motions of the individual plant's flowers. I will put you a link in the upper right corner of the screen with a video that I filmed two years ago in 2017, also in March, also fells in bloom. At the moment I don't have as many fells in bloom though for different reasons. Some were early and have stopped blooming already and some are still in bud and some have skipped blooming completely either because they are struggling or for no obvious reason, like my Phalaenopsis perichii, and also due to a lack of watering on my side, that still happens too. But I'm still quite excited because my Phalaenopsis is in bloom for the very first time in my care, and I'm so happy about that. So, let's get started with the very first flower and also the most substantial one when it comes to texture. It's so waxy and long-lasting, and see how heavy it is. It's only one flower at the moment, but there are more buds to come. It doesn't have a huge display like my last Phalaenopsis Leodoro had. Unfortunately, it died last year of stem rot. I will link you a video of its decay in the upper right corner of the screen as well. Shortly after, I got this Leodoro as a gift, and I think its flower turned out to be quite nice. There are slight differences in Phalaenopsis Leodoro's flowers, as I've noticed. I think it didn't have this keiki at the spike when I got it a little less than a year ago, but it did have this basil keiki underneath the leaves of the other fowl. And in the back there is a new spike as well, with one more bud. It doesn't have a huge root system, it's not too remarkable, but the plant is still establishing itself and is growing new roots, especially aerial roots unfortunately. Okay, which one is going to be next? I think this complex hybrid up here. It's blooming from its secondary spike here. The primary spike was damaged by a vanda that had dropped off its hanger. I think for a secondary spike the display isn't too bad. It had six flowers but one of them faded early, I don't know why. The plant is quite large and it's still sitting in the same medium it came with. I think it's Ceramis Special Orchid Medium. I would have chosen another medium for such a large pot, but it's doing okay in there. I got this one also about a year ago. The flowers at the primary spike were arranged really nicely in a nice cascade, very symmetrical. But it was built in summer, maybe that's the reason, because it had more light. But it seems to have decided to form more buds at the tip there. That's really nice. You might think this plant is very boring, it's just a complex hybrid fell. But I have to say that I really like my complex hybrids. I don't have many of them. In case you're more into species fells, here's one. I think it looks like a little pink washed out star. It's so pretty. And there are more buds to come on other spikes in the back there. We cannot see them at the moment. The blooms are so delicate. I find them really lovely. And it has a nice fragrance too. A quite fresh fragrance. I consider it to be quite strong, but it's not able to fill up a room. It's quite noticeable though. I also have another variety of this species, but it's still in bud. It's not the happiest plant. There are a couple of roots outside the pot and I fear there are not too many good roots inside the pot. And the plant is a bit dehydrated too. I think I should repot it quite soon. It's one of the fells that is living on the northern windowsill, so it doesn't receive any direct sunlight. Okay, let's move over to the next one. It's also a complex hybrid and I think this is my very favorite complex hybrid. I love the combination of the rainbow lip and the veining on the sepals and petals. 
which is not too blatant. It's still pale, which I really like. No striking colors here, but a very nice combination of colors. Somewhat dreamy or romantic, I think. The plant itself is not the happiest plant either. The edges of the leaves show some sign of stress. And I actually know where it comes from. This plant has lost its root system a couple of times now since I've got it. About six or seven years ago. Look at that. Looks horrible. But that's what the plant always does. I pot it up very carefully because I know how it tends to react. And then it loses its complete root system within a couple of months up to a year. And the whole thing repeats itself all over again. It does grow aerial roots, I pot them up and they die. But the plant is a reliable bloomer, nevertheless, and I really like it. And the next one, above them all, kind of, at least at the moment, a cross between Phalaenopsis schilleriana and Manii, a primary hybrid. I don't own a Phalaenopsis Manii, but I do own a Phalaenopsis schilleriana, and it's so nice to have them both in bloom together. Unfortunately, this cross, like Phalaenopsis schilleriana, builds its spikes in winter time, and our winters tend to be very, very low in light. And I don't have any artificial light sources because I don't want them in my living room. And this plant tried to build so many branches, but it didn't succeed forming buds on them. I think it had more buds when it only made one spike. This cross is fragrant, and it's really interesting to compare the scent to the one of Phalaenopsis schilleriana, because it's different. The fragrance of Phalaenopsis schilleriana is like lilies of the valleys to me, very distinct. And to my nose it seems as if this hybrid had a larger variety of fragrance compounds to it. It's not as pure. And I really don't know why, because I didn't know that Phalaenopsis manii did have a fragrance. Does it? I really don't know. But the fragrance is different, and I guess it's because the hybrid has another species in its parentage. This really fascinates me, because I have them both on the same rack, standing next to each other, and I can smell the difference, even if they are so close together. And here we are, Phalaenopsis schilleriana, blooming for the very first time for me. It's a basil khaki and it has bloomed before, when it was still connected to the mother plant. It has six flowers and there are some slight imperfections, some little darker dots at the sepals and petals. But I really don't think it's something like a color break due to a virus or something like that. I know that people are very aware of the possibility that there can be viruses involved in color imperfections, but I really don't think it's the case here. The mother plant didn't have any issues and this keiki is quite vigorous. At this point I couldn't help, I had to blow at the plant because I wanted to see it move a little bit more. I really enjoy the light pink color of the blooms together with the very dark leaves. And they are so nicely mottled with those dark green spots on the silvery background. And look at the back of the leaves. They are dark purple. So beautiful as well. I would like to mention that despite this plant is an orchid species, it was of course not taken from the wild. Firstly, it's a keiki, and secondly, it's a keiki of a sibling's cross. If you're interested in buying orchid species, please always make sure that it's not taken from the wild. I always ask the sellers, also eBay sellers, was this plant taken from the wild or was it artificially propagated? Sometimes you will have to wait until you find an artificially propagated plant, but if we, the customers, tell the sellers that that is what we want and prove it by not buying wild collected plants. There will be less orchid harvesting in the future. Okay, I think that was it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. 
I certainly did enjoy filming and editing the video because dealing with my orchids, especially when they are flowering so nicely, is kind of therapeutical to me. And the weather was so nice too. We had such a nice sunny February. I really hope that your orchids and you are doing very, very well. Until next time, happy growing to all of you. Bye bye. <music>